And welcome back to Let's Play Pocky and Rocky. Since this is Ninja November, we are high in the sky. And now we're facing wind elementals and other picture postcards and creature features in your decadence. We're facing wind, snow, and everything in between. Now, I'm pretty sure many people have probably heard this, but this is not... Hey there! Power up! So we are free! And I fell off. I was enjoying that power up for what it was worth. So we're on, we're going upwards toward the ancient ship of doom. I still have to answer the question, since when was this Ninja Gaiden? We got wind elementals coming at us. We're past the snow element, the storm elementals, but now we're facing against wind and bats. Yeah, bats, because every gamer hates bats. And yeah, they do become a nuisance. We can thank Galaga for that. So, as the other half of this game is being loaded onto YouTube, this is the rest of it. Basically, since this is auto scrolling now, we're fighting off against pirates. And they're not from the Caribbean either. And this is not Captain Jack Sparrow. These must be the butt pirates of the Caribbean that I've been, I've been hearing so much about. Yeah, they're the butt pirates of the Caribbean because their 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 cousins are the ass pirates of the Caribbean. And from what I heard about them, they are fabulous. Of course, I can only ask, is it any weirder than Twimby? No. Because in the Twimby universe, anybody who's anybody needs to be aware that they should not get their head knocked by any, any kind of standards whatsoever. You know why? Because they instantly become targets for being evil. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get up here as fast as humanly possible. Harpies? Black Mantle is in the castle. However, you won't be able to get to him. As you will die here. Yeah, sure. No, 
Not as, my t not as long as my tail has something to say about it. So, strategy here. She will shoot a lot, so therefore you don't have to make a Keep your finger on the shooter, as well as you're going to have to deflect a whole mess of shots. And this is pretty much it, you stay in the middle. Make shots as you can. Most likely with your tail, or your, your magic razor leaf. And you keep this up and you'll eventually get her. Now, like I said before, you want to get rid of this bitch as fast as you can. This harpy Now you can also You can also try to use your tail Not sure how much this will do but Your tail is your ultimate deterrence. So what I'm going to do is just tail with her. Shake it! Shake it real good! Shake your money maker! And if that doesn't work... Which I think is what's working. She's flashing. She's flashing, so it's working. So what are we doing? We are smacking... We are smacking this... This harpy down. And so, we come to the last stop that we'll ever make. By the power of Mode 7. We made it to the fortress. Somewhere in this fortress must be the Eva Black Mantle. Sorry, but we need some volume in here. But this is the end for you. This fortress will be your grave. So now we are here at the Forbidden Castle. And there's still a level left. Because his tail was in time. His tail was in time, so we must let them all know that we mean business. So, what 
you're gonna have to do here is, since these suckers are hard, just tail whip them. Destroy this fire elemental right over there. Or rather, the lantern. And as you can see, everybody is being is just being captured. Just because they're a different race, man. Does it have to be that way? The tail whip is excellent here. So what are we doing here? Oh, we're constantly tail whipping everybody. I don't think you can actually kill these things since it's, since it's a lantern. The whole point is just keep pushing forward. Whoever's in your way, just keep shooting. I will also say be very careful, but as you can see, um, I'm just throwing caution to the wind here. Now, mind you, I did not have this on my list. I just thought it interesting just to mix things up a bit. Since it's, you know, just so smooth. Since it goes down so easily. Ugh, dang. Oh, shit. And we got electric elementals. We're still being attacked by it. No, things. So what you want to do here is you want to push yourself to this end. And be careful, these. Be careful, of these spike balls here. Jeez, does it really have to be like that? Anyway, pushing forward. And constantly getting squished. We press onward. And as we are pressing onward, We're being ever so cautious, yet so very careful. So when we come back, we should be inches closer to our goal.